Good evening, Internet. Welcome back to another night of strange and scary games. Tonight we've got Inscription, uh, which is the third and the last uh, uh, major release from Daniel Mullins. Uh, I've played it before, so this will be my second time through, uh, but I hope that you enjoy it. What's on this thing? Hello there. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you've forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Now play your stoat. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. An honorable death. Play the stoat. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My co coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. How dull. <laughs> your wolf demands two sacrifices. Fear not, the beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. Because you are learning, I will pass. Again, the choice, random card from your deck, or the certainty of a squirrel. Uh, I end my turn. Three damage dealt, three weights on the scale. Pass. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. A caustic adder, damage from its poison bite is always lethal. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Uh, I want both of these. Let's do the adder. Only one may grace your paltry. Only one may grace your paltry deck. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle, break in case of emergency. And have a second. 
Another useful implement. It'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. You are ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You sacrifice me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me. Take your turn. Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. So the wolf cub is going to come for the boulder. What does the river snapper do? Six health. Here we go. Your items may help. I end my turn. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. turn. You know you can play more than one card per turn, right? The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Ha! My bat flew right over your stoat. River Snapper, or do I want the Otter here? I think I want the River Snapper here. Serpent, perhaps more deadly than man. That's just the wolf. Okay. I end my turn. You prevailed and trekked onward past the now bloody terrain. A young wolf cub, it grows into a wolf after a single turn. The meek sparrow, an inexpensive, feeble, flying creature. But you can attack over things, so I want you. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You are compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Uh... Do we do the adder or the sparrow here? Let's do the sparrow. I think its value is less. <laughs> You looked upon your menagerie and se selected a healthy host. The stoat really wants me to choose him. Let's do a flying wolf. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the sparrow now lives in the wolf. Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. 
He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Alright, so what do we have here? Flying coyote and the bat. Near the flying wolf. I want to get two out if possible. Have you forgotten the items I gave you? Tisk tisk. Uh. Yeah, I think I'm going to get the wolf out. Do I want to put the stoat out? I think I want to save. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. Back on the board. You're three damage away from winning. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. The watchful bullfrog, it leaps in the way of attacking flyers. The stalwart snapper, a near impenetrable defense. And the undying cat, Rio. Um, I kind of want the cat. Is this another? Yeah. I'll go. Yeah, let's do that. What an honor. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul captain. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. A grizzly bear and the sparrow. So we want to get the adder out for the grizzly bear. <clears throat> Green fur has defense, so that's okay. So let's play the squirrel. Play the stoat. And I end my turn. That's scary. I 
I think we're gonna lose this one. Yeah. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Bring it here. Uh, hello? There it goes. Now sit back down. Let me explain something to you. That was one of two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Uh, what is a campfire? Um, I guess let's grab the bull bullfrog. Are the mushrooms to show how many of those we have in our deck already? It's bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air if only for a turn. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. Choose one. Feeling overburdened enough with a full three items, you carried on. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Hee-haw, twas the prospector. He's doing the prospector again. Easy, boss. The mule's key. Mule? Pack mule. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil moved in the direction inscribed on the sigil. Okay. So let's... Put you down there. And then... Do we want to put this on the board? I think we wait. I want to get the wolf out. Frog out too. I don't think we need it right now. <laughs> oh, nice. Dag, nab it, my mule. What do we have? This cre the creature opposing this card bearing the sigil loses one power. Okay. Um. You need to draw a card first. Let's draw a squirrel. Sacrifice a squirrel, the sparrow. Ah. Easy, boss. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. There's gold in them, our cards.
Well, that seems a bit unfair. Gold! I've struck gold! What are you? Bloodhound. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Get him. How am I ever going to get out on your card? Down you. Uh, you. Take a hit now. first, blackout, and then wolf. I think I misplayed that. Doesn't matter, still one. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Poor abandoned child, it does not die when sacrificed, but do you have a heart to try? A largely unimpressive specimen. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. Uh, I guess let's take child 13. We already have an undying, right? So we have an undying, let's take the strange larva. With the sound of a prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Hmm. The rank smell of rotten mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. What is that? Uh, I missed that. Uh, choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. I'm sacrificing something? For what? A random card with a cost of one. What were you expecting? Oh, okay. That's fine.
Can I scroll up? I can't. Is this an elite? Yes. Raven Egg Kingfisher. And a bullfrog. You've only got one attack. You've got three attack. You're airborne. And what else? Waterborne. The card bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn while submerged opposing creatures to attack its owner directly. All right. So I think we want to put the bullfrog out versus the kingfisher. That seems like the right play. Do I want to put out the stoat? Total misplay. Do I put out the wolf? I think so. Strange larva. There's no safe way to put, play this. Ow. A well-earned point of damage. I didn't think you would really do it. disappointing. An, invo an inviolable an inviolable inviolable the inviol uh, the inviolable beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. 
The apotheosed, the apotheosized goat, the truest offering, sacrificing it grants three blood. The, ah, the elusive otter, it submerges itself during my turn. Uh, the otter seems pretty good. I do feel like we need more blood. Let's take the black out. And let's sacrifice the black goat. And let's put it on... Can we undo that? I don't want to put it on the strange larva. I want to just put it on the stoat. How do I back up? I don't want to sacrifice the goat. Uh, guess let's put it on the wolf cub. All right, this could go really bad. What have we got? What was that? Fine. Okay. Ouch. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Care to look at me pelts? The trapper dealt in teeth, the type collected from battle. So I can... They are gained by dealing damage greater than what is needed to win a match. Take a pelt free of charge. See the quality. That's all I can really afford. All right. You're leaving already. Please consider me pelts. Uh, I don't have any more money. Thanks for your business. Man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the traitor further down the path would reward you for them. Uh... What is this skull here? Let's go down this path. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they, handled, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. You noticed the, one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Hmm. Can give the strange larva an attack? Give the river snapper an attack. Let's 
do the strange larva. The fire warmed the poor strange larva, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached toward it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the strange larva away from the fire and left. So we don't have to worry about that for now. Put the bullfrog down against the raven egg or the kingfisher. Let's do it against the kingfisher. Danger. Yeah. Dej. Alas, it is time for you to perish. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Cost of free from the rabbit pelt. And another, this time I will use its power and health, the numbers. One power and six health from the river snapper. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. The wolf cub? The sigil of fledgling and the sigil of worthy sacrifice from the wolf cub. I never did ask you your name. I'm mom. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when, of your, when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. All right, what are we doing? Rattlers, three attack, one health. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. <laughs> 
Was I asleep again? I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. I think we just got some teeth. Is that two seven three? All right, rabbit hole, bees within, sprinter, touch of death, fledgling, dam builder, order, borrower, burrower, not borrower, uh, fecundity. Loose tail. Corpse eater. Bone king. Waterborn. Unkillable. That's what I want. The unkillable. Sharp quills. Hefty. Ant spawner. Guardian. Airborne. Many lives. Repulsive. Worthy sacrifice. So, 273 is the safe, it looks like. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is, is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. Uh, do I need to put this down first? Let us continue. There we go. What? I forgot that I had put that there. Very well, you made it to your deck, and I'll deal with you. Uh, I'll deal you one every so often. Skink. It's got the tail thing. So you don't move. There we go. 
Uh, formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. Oh. Um... Curious. There we go. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. Was that all of them? We just did that one. We don't have a time for the clock, do we? Mm. We already got the teeth. Can't take that out. Meager coyote, but what do you expect from only four bones? The nefarious rattler, a brittle creature, once passed its monstrous fangs. The unkillable cockroach, it returns to your hand after dying. Yeah, I think I want that. You know, you're free to get up again. To keep your blood flowing. I'm no tyrant, you may stand whenever, whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter, but do keep your hands off my possessions. I really want to know what this is. What is this? The globe appears to just be a globe. A rock may get you out of a hard place. What do we have? We've got these two. Let's take a blackout. <laughs> you again. Indeed, our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be. I wouldn't call him a friend, but I suppose we are in deep this time. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening. Um, play the squirrel, play the stoat, play the stink bug. Is that what I want to do? No, the stink bug is worse than the stoat. I think we hold for now. Play the squirrel. Use the stoat. Keep me alive. Uh, play the squirrel. Um. Power numbers, the ant's creed. And then we can play the stink bug. And 
put the ant down. And overkill. Um, it's me. The flighty elk. It moves after attacking. Let's take me. Um. What's our deck looking like? We have the caged wolf. Maybe we get our cockroach up. Skink is good for now. What do we do it towards? Coyote? Yeah. Put the squirrel down. Put the skink down. Miscalculated. I hoped for more. It was a bad draw, dude. I have the most exquisite pelts. First one's free. Uh, I think we've got enough for that. Yeah. Much appreciated. Uh, group of uh, starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its power, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could, could not stop licking their lips. Um, get the opossum up. The power of the opossum was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from the pocket, you withdrew. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Right, what are you? Wolf cub.
Do we wait and play the stink bug next? I think so. Oh, that's a bad draw too. Frog. I see the way this is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender. Or you may finish the match the slow way. You came across a hobbled man standing beside some boulders. You caught me off guard. Not supposed to see me till further down the road. Say, I like me a gamble. If and you can pick a boulder that has a gold in it, you can keep it. Show me where to strike. Are they all the same? Dag nabbit, no gold. But that is a funny looking varmint. Keep it. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. The incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Twas the prospector. Hee haw! So the pack mule is the key here. Um, let's get out the skink. Do I want to get the cockroach out right away? I think so. Nope, that's the wrong one. Were you as unfaltering as the cockroach? That caged wolf. He had that for a reason. The card seems useless, but I think there's more to it. There's gold in them cards. Gold, I've struck gold. Get him.
prospector boss again. So I can put out the bees. I think I want to do that. Oh, draw a card. And then... Let's play these. Yeah. Let me relight your candles. Very well. You may choose a rare card. I have no words for this freak of nature. Long elk. Child 13 again, strange larva. Let's get child 13. After the harrowing encounter with the prospector, you gathered yourself and con continued onwards. Let me see. The air grew thick with moisture. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You beheld the wetlands. Uh, Reginald. Where are you? Card bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. When submerged, the opposing creature attacks its owner directly. Touch of death. Let's get the Reginald. What items do I have? I only have the one item. Let's get some items. Take those. Uh, we'll take that. Do we want to try another elite? If we get a bad draw, it might not work out for us. Dying. Uh, let's put down child 13. And then we'll put down the beehive. There. What was that? the cockroach.
We win. Yeah, I think the mushrooms are just to show that you already have this in your deck. Uh, we can get an elk or river snapper. We don't have a river snapper yet. Let's get it. What is this? You came across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. Uh, I can do the gold pelts, but I want to hold on to that. Pick something else. Could sacrifice Reginald. callously slaughtered the opossum. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon of the Bone Lord, you will start each battle with one extra bone. You shook off the viscera of the poor opossum and carried onwards. Look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Okay. Are you going to tell me how to find him or... Put you down there. Put you down there. Where are you going to be? You've got three... <laughs> Ow. Golden pelts. That's not great. Skink. Stink bug. Caged wolf. the cockroach. You have me here. I surrender. you. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. 
It spoke. Pass one of my trials and I will be yours, in a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or your failure. It spoke again, but first you will choose a trial. Trial of power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power to combine, combine to pass. The trial of wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. The trial of blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined to pass. This seems like the lowest risk. Three from the cockroach, one from the, sk the skink, zero from the worker ant. You have passed the trial. The beast revealed itself. It was... Rio. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. Uh, when a card bearing the sigil is played, a dam is created on each empty adjacent space. A dam is defined as zero power, two health. And... Um... Do we already have a blackout? We don't. Let's take the blackout. Powerful item. This Turn this and I'll skip my next trial. Uh, what do we have? We've just got the pliers right now, so let's take that. Oh, we also have a jar of bones. Okay. Alright. Sparrow, Kingfisher, and Bat. Can get the worker ant out. Can get the caged wolf out. These rabbit pelts. Um, there's the black goat. Get the skink out if I sacrifice the worker ant. Is that worth it though? Can't draw blood from the cage wolf. So the cage wolf is just a curse in my hand.
Trial of Bones, the three drawn cards must cost at least five bones combined to pass. Trial of Power, the three drawn cards must have at least four attack power to combine to pass. Trial of Health, the three drawn cards must have at least six health combined to pass. Trial of Power begin. Damn it. Failure. Um, what's our deck looking like? Sacrifice Reginald. <laughs> Put it on the Ant Queen, maybe. Wish me luck. Foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. Get the worker ant and the ant queen out if we can. Which fish hard shoes? What's he doing with my ant? Uh, that doesn't seem very fair. Mine now. Go fish. It's me. Bad play. Mm, stale fish, hard shoes. Fresher fish, easy shoes. Oh, come on. New fish, easy shoes. Take fish, go fish. Go fish. Stay there. No need to move. I'm afraid you are not dead yet. Hold still. Hmm, where did I put that camera of mine? Pathetic. Do you really think I would leave film in there? Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. We have a memento to create. Behold your death card. Shall we begin to ink it? Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Four bones or two blood? I'm going to go with two blood. Cost of two blood from the river snapper. 
And another, this time I'll always use its power and health. Skink. One power and two health from the skink. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Uh, it's gotta be the undying, right? Sigil of worthy sacrifice, sigil of many lives, and the black goat. I never did ask your name. Uh, um, two. One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. Say cheese. Are you prepared for what lies ahead? To be impaled on the angler's hook, like the one who came before? It seems the lowly stink bug has made its way in. But it is so it is dealt, so it stands. We already looked through here, right? Yeah. Oh, that's new. Um, do you go here? No. Uh, where do you go? Oh, that's there every time. That's nice. So we get free teeth. What can I do with this plant? Looks like it should just go in here, but it doesn't seem to be going in there. Caged wolf is six. How do I... An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings and gestured at, at them brusquely. Choose. The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The mighty leap sigil will now be marked upon all your squirrel uh, creatures. I don't think that's very good. The bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Um... That's better. The old woman collected her pieces and shuffled off into the darkness. My boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep smoke. The smoke. Chill mists closed in around you. You are not alone. Figure emerged from the fog. Stand the way, me gold, be darned. What is the smoke? Is this for bones?
can put the cage wolf out, but what good does that do me? Here's the alpha. I hate these fucking pelts. Come here. Uh, put the alpha out. the cage wolf out. There's the bullfrog. Easy boss, just pop that mule. Got it. Put out the bullfrog. There's a mule. Dang, nabbit! Something about that cage wolf. What would happen if it were freed? How do you free it? You gotta tell me how to free it. I don't understand. There's gold in them cards. So many bones. What was that? Gold, I struck gold. Get him. All right, so what can I put out? What do I want to put out, I guess? I can put out the... Let me put out this wolf. Mantis God, a perfect incarnation of terror. Child 13 again. The eternal serpent. Death strengthens it forever. Card bearing a sigil perishes. A copy of it is created in your hand. That seems pretty good. Uh, I really want Ouroboros or Mantis God here. Um, let's go with Ouroboros. It works better with the, the squirrel. Free of the prospect's unhinged gaze, you looked ahead. Let me think. The wetlands, we've been here before. Yes, the wolf is out. Which gives us the knife. You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish that you hadn't. Can we use the dagger or? You found yourself among grove thick and pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through the thick cloud of spores. We are the mycologists, yes? Yes. 
And we are performing our experiments far from, from... We are not welcome elsewhere. We will experiment on your flock, yes? We will need two of the same creature. One for each of us. Uh, let's do the wolf. I think this could get messy. Look away. The wolf, it is now one. Can't put out the alpha yet. Can put out the bullfrog. Bullfrog versus bullfrog, or bullfrog versus kingfisher. There's child 13. Okay, then. Uh, down. I can't yet. Greetings. Believe it or not, you're not the first one to lose an eye here. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. Find salvation in Cuckoo Clock. Better? Regardless, the choice is final. Take the film roll before he sees it. How? What are you up to over there? We got the film roll. Is there anything else? Nothing else it doesn't look like. All right. Mm, 
Mud tugged hard at your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. Rank odor caused your stomach to churn and your eyes to water. It was the rotting fish that hung from the branches around you. A huge man approached. Go fish. I ought to thank you. How has it been? It has been quite bad. I am trapped in the body of a stoat, in the paper of a card. I see that. And I have, of course, set up a way to reset once more. Go on. Our player friend here, they already hold the key. So we can get the wolf cub out. But he's going to steal the wolf cub. That's actually not too bad. Go fish. Go fish. Lives are restored. Choose carefully. Canine, hooved, reptilian, feathered, insectoid, the amalgam is all. The amorphous amoeba, its sigils are ever changing. I think we just take the amalgam here. You considered one of the angler's catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. Mm, oh yes, I know. A frigid gust of wind billowed, unwelcome, into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You had ascended to the snow line. Trial of health, trial of wisdom, trial of bones. Yes, you have passed. 
There's the Rat King. That would be pretty good. The River Otter. Or the Beehive. It seems pretty bad on the Beehive. So the Rat King helps us get our alpha out easier, but the River Otter helps us start spawning ants. Let's see the Rat King. Oh, oh no, you can't use that. Okay. get our wolf out or can get our rat king out I think we want our wolf out Regal moose, the creatures of the wild make way for it. The end of the, other's, the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed on the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Ah, the diligent ant, its strength is proportionate, proportionate to the size of its colony. Pernicious vulture, a tyrant of the skies. It's a very expensive vulture. Let's get the moose buck. Are we just going to sacrifice the moose buck? Marvelous. Bullfrog. Alpha. Wolf cub. Bat. Kingfisher. Moose buck. Can do the kingfisher. Kingfisher plus the alpha. <laughs> Me again. Three damage. So you found the stunted wolf. I have seen this play out enough times to know that a plan is in motion. Make haste. To the user, nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. So why do I have it? I am serious. You cannot use that. There is no possible use for it. I'll place it on the shelf over there for now. My advice, avoid it. Okay. Damn it. 
elbow. It's painful to see. Ah, pain is unbearable. Even after all these years, what do you want? I have very little to live for these days. Could it be? You have the master's eye. Does this mean the master can see me? Magnificus, can you see me? Can you free me? Ah, it is done. Master is free. Oh, the end must be close now. If Magnificus is free, it must be close. Watching the angler lose. Now that soothed my pain. An old rival of mine, that fisherman. He bested me this time, but I will have another chance. Oh, I see you have a little something special up your sleeve. Fear not, I won't blow your cover. You just need to get a hold of that camera of his. Maybe if you defeated him, you would get a chance. Yes, I see that you have a little something special. Ringworm, turkey vulture, and elk. Can take the elk. Did you bring us two of the same? We would like to experiment. You may want to avert your eyes. You now have but one rabbit pelt. It is stronger. Play the amalgam against the elk fawn. Play the bullfrog against the elk fawn. And we win. Nascent fawn, it quickly grows into an elk. We already have the moose buck. Where's the map? How do I see the map again? wood carver appeared before you. She moved with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable age. For you, B is within. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil would move to that space. We don't really have any snakes, though. None of these are really good. When you looked up again, the ancient woman had vanished. A man stood before you, a man you recognized immediately. It was the trapper. You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. 
Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. Salutations. So I just play child 13 and then wake it up. Exquisite pelts, but the cycle must continue. Let's trade. Powerful cards. I will accept only the finest pelts for them. Trade for what you can, but know this. The rest will stay and fight for me. chosen differently. Can get the adder out. Just death. Oh, fuck. You will make an exquisite pelt. Please try to remain alive for just a short while longer. I would like a memento. Your death card. Let us begin. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Two blood from the elk. This time I'll use its power and its health. Three power and three health from the amalgam. Sigils. Killable, airborne, hefty, killable, sigil of unkillable from the cockroach. I never did ask your name. Um, three. Prepare yourself. And death awaits. Are you ready?
Not much for trading that last one. Are you prepared to make the right deals? What are you looking at? Keep your eyes on me. A gift from the angler. You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fall to the prospector before he was given that chance. The hook is powerful. He may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. That foul stunted wolf. You really want such a creature in your deck? The sight of it does try my temper. But it has been dealt with. So it stands. You took the film roll. Is that correct? My plan nears its moment of truth. But you must defeat him first. There we go. Okay. I do relish snuffing out your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps you will now enjoy it as much as I do. Is there any other puzzle? Can't talk to you anymore because we don't have the eye. What do we do with the plant? Hmm. You've plucked that from the oil painting. You must not like the cards that I deal you. Fine. And then what is with the... Does that do anything? Alright, we're at the last boss again, I think. Took in the familiar sights and scents of the trapper's pelts. Something was different. The once friendly man now beheld you with a steely gaze. I'm afraid I must be skinning you today. Play the bullfrog and the stink bug. You die. You do two damage to us. That's not enough to send us next. Whew.
part one is one. Let's trade. All right, what do we have? I'd like that. I'd like that. Um, I'd like that. I think I'll take the Bloodhound too. And then let's take. Can't take anything right now. Um, do we win? Need a light. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Malcolm? Let's take a Malcolm again. Care for a new eye? Take the master's eye. Happy with that one? With the enigmatic trapper and trader now bleeding into the snow, you persisted. You could see a light in the distance. The end is near. Let me see. Will this work on the final challenge? Your eyes affix themselves on the small cabin. It's warm light a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely, surely this cabin marked the end of your travails. Steps away from the strange cabin, you are presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you are able to pass my trials, you will be rewarded mightily. The trial of rarity, the three drawn cards must include a rare card. Trial of skins, the three drawn cards must include a pelt card. The trial of the winged, the three drawn cards must include a card with the airborne sigil. Damn it. Hmm, not a single card with the airborne sigil. Failure. You will repeat that once more. Trial of the ring. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. Trial of the finned. The three drawn cards must include a card with the waterborne sigil. Trial of the swift. The three drawn cards must include a card with the sprinter sigil. Ah, uh, Pronghorn is a card with the Sprinter Sigil. Success. I will grant you one of my most powerful boons. Cards that dramatically alter the game, and you don't even need to draw them. Boon of Goat's Blood, you will start a battle with a black goat on the board. Boon of Ambdextrious, you may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. Boon of the Bone Lord, you will start a battle with eight bones. You managed to get a boon. This may be a fair competition.
You took your time out there. And I'm itching for another game. Are you ready to play? I hope you are adequately prepared. Perhaps one more to be safe. That doesn't seem fair. Carry on. Mantis God. Probably endured the onslaught of rare creatures, but the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you. In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but colored by guilt. They were betraying you. I remember that one fondly. playing ants. Can play the bloodhound. Trade for what you can, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me.
I think we win. Yes. This damned moon. It's dramatic, yes. But it provides no value to my board. I wonder... Now that is value. I got the adder, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. There we go. You really destroyed the moon. I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Go on. There's nowhere for that card to be played. Oh my, did I just, I think I just beat him. Those dots look significantly less chunky on my screen than they do on yours, it looks like. Um, 9.15. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today, I am opening Catch Monsters packs and digging for that epic, shiny Transcend Dog! And here, I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Feeling real good. Ooh, what do we got here? Okay, and our first rare is a Birchkin. Not exactly a viable competitive card, but hey, it's a pretty one. All right. Next pack. Feeling even better about this one. I gotta say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. I mean, they're so smooth. Not sure what they're doing down there at the, uh, the card factory, but um, these are feeling good in my hands. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Another Birchkin. Some jank cards. Maybe a few additions to my draft cube, we'll see. And our rare for this pack is Bandog. Not exactly <laughs> riveting so far, but we have many packs to go. Next pack, here we come. I'll just cut out this part. Good call. Uh, stop. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is a vintage pack opening video. Today I'm opening a few super rare old packs I snagged at a garage sale. I've got four packs of Inscription. You would not believe the deal I got on these. Now, not all of you will even remember this game. I'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing them. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for, there's not really much to lose. That being said, a foil mantis god goes for a couple hundred bucks, so fingers crossed. Really cool art on these. Definitely stands the test of time. And our rare for this pack is Blue Mage. Cool looking card, but not going to be worth very much. Good to know. 
see what we got going on in the second pack. This guy doesn't seem very lucky. Huh. Uh, this pack has been opened and resealed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. That would suck. Come on, people, honestly. Who opens and reseals a pack? Yeah. There's a set of coordinates on this card. Looks like they were drawn on with a pen. That's awful. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west. Uh, I think... I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. I'm out here living my best life. Got my trusty headlamp and shovel. Always come prepared, kids. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Whew. Getting close. I think. Assuming there is a thing to get close to. This very well may be a massive waste of... That's why you always bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Okay. Every time. You gotta come prepared. <sighs> okay. Shouldn't these videos be like edited down? This is it. And now, we dig. Dig. There's something down there. I give a 75% chance it's a rock, but only one way to find out. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, you guys, I can't believe it. There's actually something here. The data on that disc has to be corrupted by now, right? Guys, are you seeing this? Floppy discs don't last that long. I'm, uh, I'm a little confused. Steambot Willy from um, the Hex. Wow, great video! <laughs> okay, time to figure out what's on this thing.
that's what we just played through. There's nothing hidden here, is there? Doesn't look like it. I do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts. But you, challenger, you are worthy. Please do not be polite. Dig in. Is there something wrong? Your prize awaits. Very well. Come with me. Stand right there. Who gave you that? You absolute ingrate. Give it back. Did we get him? I think we got him. Seems like we're locked in here now. Alright, what are we doing now? <laughs> 